Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making nacho grande casserole in the Copper Chef XL. All right guys, I'm starting out on my Copper Chef XL I have preheating. And I have roughly a little over two pounds of lean ground beef. I'm gonna get that down in there. Now some people call it ground beef, some people call it hamburger, some people call it meat, wherever part of the country or the world you're from, depending. So I don't wanna hear no backlash about me calling it hamburger. Now I'm gonna also throw in one medium onion I diced up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown this and crumble it up and then I'm going to drain off the, the excess grease when it's done frying. Okay, now that my ground beef is brown and I drained off the excess grease, I have two 15 and a half ounce cans of uh, spicy chili beans. Now this is the closest I could find. Let me dump them in here quick and I'll show you the can. I went to Walmart. If you could sell like your regular grocery store, you might be able to find spicy chili beans. But I found a uh, Southwestern style pinto beans. They have uh, red chili sauce, jalapeno peppers in there, so they're, they're spicy. I'm adding two cans of those in, juice and all. Now I have my heat turned off right now. I'm also going to add in two eight ounce cans of tomato sauce. I'm going to get them down in there. Okay, now I have a pack of taco seasoning mix. I didn't add any seasoning to this salt or pepper enough because the taco seasoning is uh, salty enough on its own. And if you don't like it real salty or you can't handle salt, they do sell low sodium taco seasoning mix. So I'm going to add that pack in there. Just gonna give this a quick stir to get that taco seasoning mix stirred in. All right, now I have a uh, 12 ounce bag of corn. This is frozen corn I thought it in the microwave. I'm gonna get this in here. Make sure I get it all down in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer this for about 10 minutes uncovered so the flavors blend together good and everything is uh, ready to be put together for our casserole. Okay, now that my 10 minutes are up, I took half of the beef mixture out of here. Now if you were going to do this in a regular 9x13 baking pan, you would do this in a frying pan and then transfer half of this into a greased 9x13 pan. Now after I pulled that out, I have a uh, nine and a half ounce or nine and three quarter ounce bag of nacho cheese Doritos. I'm going to crumble half of that down over top of the beef mixture. You just want to get an even coating. And they don't have to be perfectly crushed just as long as they're bite sized. Get in there and get that one out of there. Okay, now that I have my Doritos pretty evenly spread on there, I have a three cup bag of uh, Mexican blend shredded cheese. You could also use taco blend if you can't find Mexican blend. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle about a cup and a half of the cheese on there. Nice and evenly. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this step again. Put down uh, my beef, Doritos, and cheese. And I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven uncovered for a half hour to bake till everything's melted and bubbly. Alright guys, my time is up. I took this out and I garnished it with some green onion and diced tomato. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, let me get in there and give this a taste. And I did take a very big piece because I'm not really too hungry tonight. I did a lot of snack when I got out of work. You taste all the flavors of the hot chili beans, the Doritos, the taco, seasoning mix, and the beef. 
and that crisp of the Doritos is a nice uh, texture. Can't get the fresh from the tomato and a green onion. All right, now while you'll get yours in a minute. It's really good, guys. Okay, there you have it. Nacho Grande casserole on the Copper Chef XL. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.